Hey team, Jennifer Piper Kennedy here. Uh, today's video is all about why would you want to carry inventory? So, um, first of all, it's January 3rd. It's the start of a new year. So you want to make sure you're counting your inventory. If you haven't already, go count it because you need to have a starting inventory count. And then on December 31st this year, you'll do an ending inventory count. And then you'll have uh, purchases of inventory and sales of that throughout the year um, and expenses, of course, so you're able to work out what your profit margins are. But, you know, why carry inventory? Um, so a little bit of my background before beauty control, I have a kinesiology degree, so I used to do sports rehab. And then I also had a few businesses, and a clothing store, grocery, and a Sears. And my clothing store, for instance, you know, I always say that, are you kidding? You can start a business with beauty control for, you know, the max to join is $2.99 and you get all this inventory to start with. Um, and then have purchasing power to buy your inventory right away, have in your store to build your business right away. And you know, you can do it for a thousand dollars, which is crazy. So when we had our clothing store, we had thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in inventory, right? Um, so, and when we used to have to buy for our store, you would go to your buying show and say February and March and you'd be buying for the fall. So you kind of had to predict where we only have that one week turnaround, right? Where our orders are going to show up in a week so it's a lot more flexible so I'm going to talk to you about why you would want to carry inventory and kind of run your business more like a store so reason number one is instant gratification when you're at a spa or doing a one-on-one -on -one or talking to someone at the bank and they want to buy a hand cream they want the hand cream then and there they don't want to wait two weeks until you place your next order and then it comes and then you deliver it to them right they want it then and I'm telling you that your sales are higher when you have inventory because you're able to give them that product. So at my spas, I'll say to them, you know, girls, you're all going to go home with something tonight. Um, I may not have everything, but I for sure will have something. So you're going to walk out of it with tonight. Um, so it ups your sales, right? It also, you know, most people don't think about ordering that tonic when they're three weeks out. They order the tonic when they're right out. So if you don't have it in stock, she's like, oh, that's okay. I'll just go to Walmart and get some there, right? We don't want that. So number one is instant gratification. Uh, number two, timely customer service. Again, if someone orders something for me and they're not getting it in their hands for two to three weeks because I got to wait till I do my order, right? And then I have to deliver it to them, wait for the mail, yada, yada, yada. It's not timely customer service. So you want to make sure that you're providing them with that great customer service. Um, you know, everything is Canada Post in Canada. So it takes us a week at least to get our products out here. So you don't want her to wait um, that plus more, right? Um, number three, higher profit margins. Now, this I want you to think about is, okay, all of you, I hope, are making 50% all the time. And how you get to 50% is by having three on your team and then doing $500 orders. So if you have inventory and you plan your purchasing, you'll always be able to hit that 500. So what I always suggest you do is sit down and go, okay, my budget, I can see having, you know, maybe it's a thousand dollars in inventory at every time. And that thousand dollars will be consistent throughout the year. So you'll sell some, you'll replenish, you'll sell, you'll replenish, but decide what that inventory level is. And maybe it takes you a month or two or three to build up to it, but decide what that level is. Carry your best sellers. You don't need to carry all the crap in the catalog sell what you love, you do sell what you love, uh, stock what you love, what you know are gonna be the best sellers. Now, when I say higher profit margins, what I mean is if you are a VIP and you don't have inventory and someone needs a tonic, again, that dreaded tonic, and she's out and she needs it now. If you order it now, you're only gonna get uh, 25 or 30%, I believe. I'm not sure offhand, I don't know the chart as well as I should, apparently. Uh, you're only gonna get that because you have to order it now, or if you're smart, you can do it through your beauty page and make 40%. However, if you've planned it and you have a set inventory, when you do your $500 order, you're kinda always gonna be stocking things you sell. So if you had had that in stock and did it with your $500 order, you're gonna make your 50%, right? Um, higher profits, what that, profit margins, what that also means is every month at the end of the month, I go through the monthly brochure and I do one more order at the end of the month. And it's things that I stock up on, on that are on sale and that I know I sell a lot of. So I'm going to use this month, for instance, it's the makeup wipes are on sale. So I will probably at the end of the month order another 50 of these, right? 
So what that does for my business is it gives me a couple things. It gives me freedom and flexibility to offer some extra sales to my clients once this book is done. So in my private Facebook group, my clients, I can say to them when it's February and sale is no longer on, I can say, hey, I got an extra buy on these amazing makeup whites. They're yours for $6.90 or four for 24 is the sale I'm offering right now. Um, does anyone need any, right? So it allows me to sell. I'm still making my 50% because I bought it, but it's also an extra sale for them that they don't have access to, right? So it gives them a reason also to stay loyal to me. Higher profit margins also mean, let's say I just order extra and I don't have them on any special sale and Mary says, oh, Jen, I need more of those makeup wipes I bought in December. Do you have some? I'm like, yeah, perfect. They're $10, which is a great price. Um, $10. Now again, I bought extra, so I'm paying $6.90 less my half. So that's like $3.50. I'm selling them for $10 now. So I'm making more than my 50%. So I sort of stock up on the things that I know I'm going to sell lots of and that I do sell lots of. What else it allows me to do is offer those as a purchase with purchase offer, right? So Let's say anyone that buys skincare from me in February, I'm going to throw in a set of makeup wipes for, let's say, five bucks their cost, right? They get them at half price. I've still paid only $3.50, so I'm actually still making some money, but they get another great benefit, and that's part of me providing great customer service and then them also being more loyal to me. So you can sort of see how having an inventory and knowing what you paid um, will help you with your upselling, will help you with some purchase with purchase. You know, it's a great way. If I have a great customer and she's doing a big order, again, I might just throw a set of those makeup wipes in because it cost me $3. She's thrilled because she gets an extra gift. So planning and having an inventory of things you sell is always going to be a good thing for your business. Always, it always, always, always allows you to offer some extra deals and have more flexibility. Okay, now, what do you carry? Um, that's always the question. So do I carry every Bath and Body product? No, I don't. I never sell margarita. It's just not my thing. I don't sell it. I have none of it on my shelves. If someone wants margarita, I actually have to order it, which is funny. What do I sell a ton of? Brown sugar. And actually it's not my fave, but I sell it like crazy. So when brown sugar perfume was on sale in, was it September or October? I ordered 70 because I knew I would be able to sell them right through to Christmas. So I stocked my store was on sale for 22 so I paid 11 and I stocked my store so that in November and December when it was back up to 33 I was actually most times I'd still offer a deal but I was making more than 50% because I still bought so much of it brown sugar lotion same thing at the end of the sale I bought lots brown sugar scrub when it's on I buy lots because I know it's gonna sell um, you know this month things that I know are gonna sell are the makeup wipes the puffy eye pen um, the new compact the powder compact those are all things that i know that i'll sell and i'm able to buy them and get a little bit of extra whenever we have skincare on sale so like right now you guys skincare anti-aging uh it's january the whole month of january any sized order you're gonna get your 50 percent off on that so plan your inventory plan for your store if you know you sell bc spa facial that's ma that's the majority of what i sell i sell some smooth some clear very little sensitive I stock my store accordingly, right? So I'm gonna load up because I'm able to get that on sale and then I'm able to offer my clients even moving forward. Where, so now let's say I'm um, not a VIP. Oh gosh, you guys all need to be VIP. You want 50% for sure. You wanna be able to place that $500 order and get 50%. But let's say I'm not VIP and I'm brand new. And this month, again, I get my 50% on skincare. If I have a few extra items, I'm able to still sell them and I still make 50% in February. Now, let's say I only order what my clients order this month and I don't plan ahead and I don't think about inventory. In February, when someone orders something, let's say a cleanser, maybe cleanser, moisturizer, tonic, I'm now back down to having to order it and if I'm smart, I order it through my beauty page, at least I make 40%, but maybe I don't pay for my beauty page. Maybe I don't really see the, the value in it. Crazy. Um, but if I go and place the order, I might only make 20 or 25% on that, right? So wouldn't you rather make 50? Wouldn't you rather make 40? For sure have a beauty page, you guys. Everyone should be making a minimum of 40% on your orders. Um, and seriously, with a $50 kit right now, it's so easy to become VIP and be making 50%. And then again, once you're VIP, you plan it so that you never waste that 50%. You get that $500 order in hand 
you know, pick up the phone, reach out to clients, uh, stock your store on things that you know you're going to sell, but make sure that you're making that extra um, profit level. So that's why you want to be carrying an inventory and running your store, running your business like a store, I guess would be better. Um, but I hope that this helps you all. Again, post your takeaways and happy selling this month. Happy recruiting. I challenge everyone to get to VIP. If you don't get your beauty page yet, make sure you go get your beauty page and plan your inventory. Sit down and look at your budget and decide, okay, what's my budget? Maybe I'll carry 500. Maybe I'll carry $1,000. Maybe I'll carry $2,000. Whatever that is, sit down and figure out your budget. And remember, 2,000 in inventory is $1,000 cost to you. So um, plan that, decide, and... Really, ha I hope everyone has a great 2016. Thanks.